Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to change the cam magnet. This is part number 27105-10177, and this is a cam magnet from Mercedes-Benz, and it changes the variable valve timing. And what happens is, over time, they leak out of this plastic here and start to leak out of the front of the engine. Now this en engine has about 81,000 miles on it, and these sit underneath here. There's one in front of each camshaft. You also have a rubber grommet that goes in here and an O-ring that seals behind here. So we'll go ahead and put my gloves on, pop this out, and get ready. So you can see the cam magnets, and this is just the intake. I'm going to take this out of the way to make this a little bit easier so I don't drop any of the screws. But there's just three screws and an electrical clip. This car actually has the retrofit. So this probably leaked at some time, but this is a 2005 C230 compressor and these go up. Now they used to go down and you would get oil leaking out and through and get into your ECU. So that's been changed. So we first want to unclip that. We're going to unclip this. It just comes off pretty simply like that. And we're going to unscrew the three bolts. Now these are reverse torques and we're going to use an E8 socket to get this off. You'll see these are very small bolts, so just take care of them and put them in a magnetic dish or whatever you might have. Here's the part, and you can see it's it's kind of oily. The back just sits here like this, right up flush against this gasket or O-ring here. And this O-ring is about $7. I got it from Mercedes-Benz. And then there's a little rubber grommet that's about $2 inside there. We'll not transfer this one. We'll put a new one in there just to be safe. Also, inside here is where it leaks, right under here and right down the harness. So that's where mine's leaking. I've got my hook. I got behind this and just gently pry out the old O-ring. I've put the new O-ring in, and now I've put the new grommet here in the center. You just push it real hard into the, into the center, and we should be good to put this into place. Now that I've got all three bolts worked down, I'm just going to snug them down to about 8 to 9 newton meters of torque, so it's not very much. You can basically just snug this with your hands. Now that we have all the three bolts snugged down, I'll just clean up any excess oil and then plug it back in. Now on this one, you can see where it's been leaking over time. So I'm going to clean that up nicely and not get anything in the camshaft area or the timing cover. And just make sure it's nice and clean before I put it back together. One thing I didn't mention earlier is I check the part numbers on both to make sure they match. Now I've cleaned up the bolts and I'm going to put this on and apply even pressure as I snug these down. When I tighten these, I use a technique where I hold up near here so that I don't over tighten. Now that they're all snug, I'm just going to plug the electrical connector back in. Now that I'm done putting these back on, I'm going to start the car and look for any leaks. So everything's looking good as far as the oil and I don't see any leaks. I'll check it again in a few days to see if it's leaked at all, but it should be good at least for another 60,000, hopefully 100 to 200,000 miles. So hopefully that helped you as far as changing the cam magnets. If you have any other questions or comments, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.